Sandra and Lisa here. We're putting on our GM hats and we are building, um, I'm going to call it a super team, an all-star team. The rules to the game, Sandra, you and I are a GM of separate teams and we are building a club in the NWSL. We each pick one player from each line. So a goalkeeper, a defender, a midfielder, and a forward to build our team around. So we have four players that we get to pick from. A dream team, really, if you will. Um, I will let you go first. And we're going to start in the back at, with a goalkeeper. Um, so you go first. I, I love the word. I love that we're starting with goalkeeper, defender, and all the way up because that, that's what that's what you and I like to do here. Um, I love this. Um, again, love to do whatever we want. Uh, shoot for the stars. Really, it was my um, GM mentality in, in this one because there's not a ton of rules here that we put on ourselves to kind of pick this team. We didn't give ourselves a cab. We didn't give ourselves any regulations. You know, who knows if we're going to be breaking any type of, we don't have limited international. No, slots like either. Who knows what we're going to be no getting. Rules. No, that concept out the window doesn't we matter. Also, we didn't talk to each other about who we picked either. So Listen, this is going to be and, fun. And thank God we're just going, we're just shooting for whatever here because I could tell you the international slots are, I did not even think of those when it came to this because for my goalkeeper, I'm going with Kaylin Sheridan off the back. I love this keeper. I think she is a keeper that you absolutely want to build around. I think we even have a little bit of recency bias and in, in taking a look at this, this, this was a player that came to San Diego wave. You have two expansion sides that are building out a, a team. They have had to ask themselves those own questions. San Diego wave said, we need to get a good keeper. And they went out and they got Kaylin Sheridan. And I, if I was a GM of a team, even right now, let alone two years ago, absolutely 100% would have made a move mm -hmm. for Kaylin Sheridan in that. Okay, Sandra, this is um, absolutely hilarious because okay. we are now fighting over players as GMs. Uh -huh. My first pick as GM of my NWSL club <laughs> is, of course, to get goalkeeper, Canadian international, Caitlin Sheridan. There it. is no other player that is fit to build a team around. Her ability in net to, uh, of course, stop shots. She's great on um, 1v1 breakaways. She's brave. She comes out of her box. But one of the most important skill, get, skill sets that Caitlin Sheridan has that I am looking at as a GM is her ability to play with her feet. Her ability to build out of the back, her confidence on the ball with both feet. She can hit long balls on a dime, left foot, right foot. She's not afraid to do a little one-two with her center back. She looks to find the six's feet. That is how Kaylin Sheridan likes to play. She wants the ball. Um, mind you, she can also go long if she needs to and get near assists in the NWSL because we've seen it, whether she's stretching fields or it's late in a game and they need a goal. Kaylin Sheridan has all the pieces to make up um, the ideal keeper, and she is. So I am not at all surprised that we picked the same one because she is the best in the league, hands down. Um, and it, I'm going to go now with my defender because I gave you a sneak peek as to how I want my team to play as a GM. I, I get to kind of set the scene for what style we're going to have on our team. Kaylin Sheridan likes to keep the ball. She can possess out of the back. That's what I want my team to do. Keep the ball, be brave on the ball. So my defender, my center back that I pick needs to be really solid on the ball. I'm going with defender from San Diego wave, Naomi Gurma. She is so solid on the ball. She can combine really well, not to mention her aerial presence. She is a lockdown 1v1 defender. She organizes well. She's a leader. She is just so good in her all-around game, and she can break passes um, and break lines of defense with her passes. She is the complete package, and I'm building my defensive line around Gurma. I think that's an incredible shout. I love how this is already getting a start with like CONCACAF heavy players. I'm here for it. And I'm also here to just like, I love whenever we get the opportunity to see the mind meld in real time. You and I already both like saying, okay, we're going to fight over Kaylin Sheridan. Well, guess what, Lisa? We're going to fight over Naomi Germa because 100% I'm in agreement with you. I absolutely would love to see my team play with patience, with coolness. That is what I think about when I think about Naomi Girma as center back, as a, the leading defender, I think in terms of building out a spine of a team. 
I don't know if there's another center back that can match her vision and her awareness on the pitch. I love to watch her play and see how she pick how she picks and chooses her positioning in certain sequences. It's so good. So 100. percent I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna keep Kaylin sharing it. Of course, I want to have that chemistry already. So I, I can't believe we're two for two. All right. I, I can't listen. believe we're two for two. We there's I, no way we go three for three. So you go with your midfielder. I, I listen, I don't know if we're gonna be three for three because I told myself, all right, I went with Sheridan, I went with Girma. I don't want this to be too CONCACAF heavy, right? Like you want to have some international experience. You want you want to have some a, a player that can bring different stylistic things. And if we're if I'm looking at midfielders, not only across the league but across the globe, and of course we didn't put any actual limitations on ourselves. Why not choose the greatest midfielder in the world right now, Lisa? Of course, I'm talking about Bon Mati. Oh, I like it. This was an NWSL super team, though. You're no. like finding loopholes in all the rules. I'm finding loopholes in all the rules. We do what we want. Listen, <laughs> listen. I I I made a social post the other day because we we have been in the zone. We've been in the GM zone. We we were planning on our episode, and we were like, what what are we gonna do here? Like, we're we're gonna play GM. We want to build this an NWSL super team. And I was like, I kind of want to go outside of the box a, a little bit, though. Even if I'm building a, an NWSL super team for this league, who do I want to see in, in this role? Of course, I can maybe try to choose one of the incredible midfielders that we have in NWSL. But I wanted to go out, outside of that. I think if you are a GM <laughs> in this league right now, in NWSL, that you are absolutely looking at players in Liga FA right now and, and seeing mm -hmm maybe how they could fit in your scheme of things in NWSL. We've already seen a couple of players make their way over. We have seen Esther Gonzalez with Gotham. We are eventually going to see Lacey Santos in NWSL with Washington Spare. These are all players that have really kind of – they kind of sharpened their knives. <laughs> Let's just Let's just say this is what it is. So – I know that this player is not in NWSL right now. I and let's be frank, she might not ever be in, in NWSL. Bon Mati is an incredibly special talent. I don't know if she will ever leave Barcelona, quite frankly. Even with all of the things that are going on off the pitch with the Spanish women's national team and also their domestic league, trying to fight for better standards. But in a segment on an episode of A3 where we're not putting any limitations on ourselves, I'm absolutely throwing the bag at Bon Mati. Okay, I'm just going to say there's no way you can afford her. I'm there's maybe, no way. We don't know. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't set that rule in place. We didn't set a cap. We didn't set a cap. We didn't put the money out there. Like, I'm, it I'm, doesn't I'm matter. You can't afford her, Sheridan, and Gurma. Oh, there's absolutely watch. no way. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I 100% can. Who's investing in your team? because I need a little bit of them on my side. Um, I like that shout. That's, that's a great shout. Your defense or your midfield is going to be pretty locked down solid. So when I was looking at the midfield and who I wanted to build up, I wanted to go a bit more defensive in my midfield because if you have okay. a solid six, a defensive midi that can control every single phase of the game, you don't have to worry about as much defense when you look at your front five players. That means I can get a, an eight and a 10 in my midfield that have a little bit more freedom that can roam a little bit. And I don't need to rely on a double pivot. I really, I'm thinking tactics here. I thought this out. I am going with in my midfield, North Carolina midfielder, Japanese international Narumi. This Love player it. is so skilled on the ball in every single phase of play. In the buildup, she's comfortable in really tight pockets, whether it's a wall pass back to her center backs. She's good at switching the point of attack. She's a pivot player that controls the tempo of the game for North Carolina, a side that predominantly wants to possess the ball and keep it, keep it moving. And it all runs through Narumi. She's also not afraid to go out wide. She has a lot of flexibility, whether it's floating all the way out to the right touchline or to the left. 
she kind of slots in as a different outside back at times in the buildup when North Carolina needs her. Defensively, she plugs all the holes. She is the hardest one into tackles. She is not afraid to put her body on the line to stop the play from developing for the opponents. And then in the attack, when North Carolina has so much of the ball and so much possession, Narumi pushes up pretty high and she can contribute as one of those players on the fringe of the 18 yard box to just be a little connector, find a little slip pass through to her forwards. And Narumi does it so, so well. So she is slotting into my midfield and I absolutely love the way that she builds up the ball. Um, but she's still in the NWSL. I stuck in the NWSL. Uh, I love it. I, I, it makes sense now. Where I could, I saw it in your eyes that you got a little nervous I when I was talking about international experience, because you also know, you also know how much I love Narumi as a player. I know. Like I, you and I, I have been on this Narumi, we've been on the Narumi transit since last season. We were like, it's running. It's that's she's mm -hmm. the key to all of it, hundred percent. So I love that. That's a good show. Yeah, she. I was absolutely a little bit nervous when you were like, I went with an international. I went with this. Um, you threw me there for a loop. Who, 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 do you got, who do you got up top then? So up top, as you know, my style of play, I want to keep the ball. I want to possess. I want to build out of the back. So you need a forward that can do both. Check in behind into the pockets. Also play a little post-up game. And I want some versatility in my front line. My three forwards, I want them to really be able to play in any of the roles across the front line. Chicago forward, Mallory Swanson hands down is my forward that I want on my roster. She can play in the left wing, in the right wing. She can play as an, a withheld nine. She can stretch a bit as a nine if she needs to as well. She is comfortable on the ball in possession, dropping deep into the midfield to help with the build out, whether it's playing back to goal or spinning her defender. She can also combine really well and, and she looks and entices the slip pass in behind that Swanson can get onto. So she can keep the ball but she also can stretch and get in behind. She's got such versatility. Her dribbling skills are top notch. She is in incredible form. She's scoring goals. She's getting assists. Uh, you'd be silly if you didn't want Mallory Swanson leading your front line, Sandra. Incredible. Lisa, I got a question for you, though. Where, where am I from? Sandra. Where, where am I from, Lisa? Where am I, where am I from? <sighs> Chicago. <laughs> Lisa, there is no other player in the world that I would no. build my team around other than Mallory Swanson right now. <laughs> you absolutely, I can't even, I can't even add anything else to what you said already. Because in just five weeks of her return to NWSL specifically, we've seen her do all of those things that you have just mentioned. I absolutely would target Mal Swanson. Here's more money. Don't worry about how I'm getting it. I'm giving it to all of these players, <laughs> including Mal Swanson. Honestly, Lisa, I think all we've really learned here is that you and I work for the same team, apparently. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I think, I think, I think you and I just, like, there's GM. Maybe there's a technical director role for one of us. Who knows? We'll see. That works. We'll see. That is absolutely <laughs> hilarious, Sandra. That is insane. So it's Caitlin Sheridan and Naomi Gurma, Bomati and Swanson. We're, we're, against... torn on, we're torn on the middle, but we absolutely <laughs> yeah. have – same goalkeeper, same defender, same forward. Uh, and then it's just a difference in our midfield. And honestly, Narumi is going to shut down your Mallory Swanson Listen. every day. So my team Listen. against your team, I would still win. Sorry. Since we're working for the same team now, apparently. <laughs> and because I had a feeling, again, the mind meld in real time, I had honorable mentions. I don't know if you have honorable mentions. Of course you did. Of but I'm going to throw did. a couple names out here for you, okay? Let's hit them. For a goalkeeper, I, I was like, okay, well, in the event that we have the same goalkeeper, who is another goalkeeper that I wouldn't mind building around right now? Uh, Katie Lund, for me, is, is someone that has done very well in this league, probably will continue to do so. And I think she's really – hasn't even really scratched the surface of, of – of, what she can provide as as a keeper. I think she's been on the end of some very challenging games with racing. So we know she's a shot stopper, um, but I'm sure she'll continue to develop. So absolutely, Kaylin. Uh, I think outside, again, I was like reaching for the stars here. I said, you know, for defenders, I was like, what about uh, Samo Baca out of France? With Leon? I was like, what if we get, you know, what if we get stay more international? Uh, Lena Oberdo from the midfield. What if we like try to, you know, stay out there? And just to keep it CONCACAF for forwards, I would love to see Jackie Ovaya in 
NWSL Ooh. in some capacity in the future. I would love to see it. Somebody out there, please make it happen. And NWSL, bring Ovaya to NWSL. That's a really good shout. Um, I really like Ovaya coming into the NWSL. That would elevate any team, any team. Absolutely. Um, I like your honorable mentions. I did not. I, um, you know, I followed the rules on this one. I stuck in the NWSL. There were no rules. <laughs> no rules, Lisa. There are never any rules. There that's are okay. never any rules. That's, right. See, that's, what, that's, why that's why we both work for the same team because, exactly. you know, I, I thought of the honorable mentions. 